Hey everybody, this is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett, welcome. I'd like to continue exploring jian, splitting or rending energy. We've started that last week as something that is um, kind of lends to a, uh, a deeper dive into some of the intricacies of actual gin production something that um, we can actually play with and, um, and create uh, a way of fine tuning your chin. So the, uh, just to re review here, the idea of chin is, is a, it's a Chinese concept that doesn't really lend itself well to English because it, what it says is like, it's energy, your chi, that is directed by awareness or intention and expressed through the body. And in the, uh, the term itself, the, uh, the character itself is, is composed of, of Li, which is muscular tension and energy. So it's like, it's a combination of these two. So you, it's based in your body. It's a base in that awareness and body awareness, and then allowing the energy to be uh, uh, calibrated for the situation. So depending on the circumstances, you'll determine how much body and how much chi is necessary to get the job done. So a lot of people tend to make chin into something very mystical and unapproachable as a result, a sort of magic trick. And it's actually not, it's something that we, we actually are doing a lot of most of the time, even if at a very low level. But the more you can understand Jin, the more you're able to move into the more insubstantial realms of your being, of life, of your experience. So you want to uh, you know, be able to occupy that and have that as, as like so, uh, something that you have a, a really strong feeling for. So the, um, you know, I'm using a lot lately the, uh, an idea that is in the young family secret transmissions, their oral tradition, which is that there's like a three phase thing, which is first learn to be consciously doing and feeling. And that's something I've emphasized a lot in these talks. And then from that, you learn to understand energy, which is where we get into Jin. And then from there, that goes to what they call spiritual illumination. So our awakening, our spiritual awakening is tied into that body, mind, spirit inter, uh, integration. So the getting your, your ability to calibrate your chin so that you know what that, what that feels like in your body, what your feels like and in, in application so that you have that as a frame of reference whenever you do your Tai Chi form, say. So anytime you're doing your Tai Chi form, if you are not creating Jin with your Tai Chi form, then you're probably getting a, only a tiny part of what is possible in that form. You're keeping it at a kind of a superficial level. So we, by understanding deeper what, what's going on with the Jin and, and really getting the feeling of that, Will uh, will help enhance the uh, the whole uh, uh, the whole experience of, of Taiji Tran and lead to and it leads to much bigger things as well. So the the con the contrast is is generally made between Li, which is must gross muscular effort, and Jin, which is energy and and body combined and there is a way of calibrating that 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 i find helpful and 
is something that I've talked about a bit before, but I'd like to go over it again in, in, in the context of geogen, which is splitting energy. And the idea of splitting is that you're pulling apart. You're pulling your, you know, in this case, my hands are being, uh, pulling apart with that and being able to sense the, the tension that is between them. And in this case, the tension is not muscular tension. There's an energetic tension there. There's a, it's like you're, you know, like uh, fighting against a magnetic pull, say. You're like, oh, you're, you're, you can actually feel that, that pull. So the, 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 that quality, that, that sense of, of rending, of pulling apart is an important part of Jia Jin. And it requires that you have this bilateral activation. And so, and you know, the most common expression, the most uh, explicit one of, of Jia Jin, uh, you know, that I know is, is, is the like uh, diagonal flying, that idea. But there's also, uh, there are other ones that, you know, high pattern horse and, and other, other moves. But the basic idea is you're one hand's moving one way, one way, the other hand's moving the other way, and they're both pulling. So we're getting that, that sense of opposition. We're opposing, ter terminals are in opposition when we do that. And consequently, you get this energy being generated by that opposition. So uh, the uh, one way to do it, you know, if you have a uh, something like a, a tea towel or a uh, a belt or something like that, you know, just getting that that idea of, of pulling in opposition. So maybe take a moment here and uh, grab something. We'll go through this together. And actually, I might even do this standing up. Grab something you can pull apart. Here's a cloth, whatever. So. Take whatever it is, and you want to feel it just just hanging there, feel it, feel it limp there, and then slowly tighten it. And notice that you're activating your arms, the muscles in your arms to do that. You're pulling against it. Now keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, and notice that there's a certain point there where you are engaging a lot of different muscle groups in, in, the, in, the, in the effort. Okay, and then let that go. Oh, relax that. So you have a memory there of what that, what that feels like to pull apart in, in opposite directions. Now do it again, and this time, very slowly engage and expand. This time, reach with your elbows and open your shoulder joints. And extend. Reach with the, with the hand, reaching outward with the hands as you do that. And notice the point where your shoulders start to tighten up and back off from that. And now feel, feel that that point there where you begin to activate shoulder tension. Now go back and actually bring your hands down. And reach with your elbows. Reach with your wrists. And very gently pull until you feel it getting taut. 
In this case, my belt is getting taut. But I'm also noticing the point where I start to engage my shoulder muscles and I let go of that and reach a little more with my elbows, a little more with my wrists. So there's an extension without that muscular tension that occurs whenever I overdo it. Now, notice what's happening in your body as you do this. By holding those poles in opposition and feeling the connection between the shoulders, between the shoulder blades, between your arms, feel the connection all the way down through your feet and into the earth. So we're activating the tensegrity of the connective tissue system now, but we haven't gone so far as to create muscular tension. And relax. Reach of the elbows, reach of the wrists. Slowly engage and just take it to a point where you feel that connection and no more. Feel the tensegrity of the system. So what's happening here is we're engaging the connective tissue system. There is some muscular contraction, but not to the point where it's muscular tension, because muscular tension is when the muscles are fighting against each other, where you are negating your own effort by counter effort of the muscles. Here, we're just expanding and feeling the yang chi of that expansion. You may notice your body getting hot as you do this because the yang chi is, is firing up. It's creating a, a, um, a, lot of, a lot of heat in the body. Now relax, let that go. Put your object down. Reach with your elbows, reach with the wrists. Reach with the fingers. Now, you have that memory very fresh in your mind. And you're reaching outward with both hands, reaching laterally with both hands, relaxing your shoulders, reaching with the elbows, opening the joints, and feel that connection there that we establish with, you know, I establish with my belt, whatever object you have. Feel that connection there. Feel the power of that. Now let that go. Feel into the neutral posture now. Feel the chi connection. Reach with the elbows, reach with the wrists. Hands come up. Reach with the fingers. Now rotate 
the right forearm. So the right palm is facing up. And very slowly separate the hands, but feeling that connection, feeling the rend as you do that. Open and hold that. Feel that energetic connection between your hands. Feel it also running through your body. It's not just between your hands, it's also through your feet, through your head. The whole system is involved in this. Rotate your palms, your forearms, so the palms reverse. Bring them back to the center line. And open. Feel the separation there. So what we're doing, we're really focusing on the tensegrity and the structure, which provides the pathway that the chi is can follow. You know, it's circulating, circulating through the whole body. Now raise your right hand, lower your left. Feel the energy in opposition, the poles in opposition creating energy. Reaching, opening. Now pull down with your right hand and lift up with your left. Feel that tension between the hands. You're stretching a rubber band. We tend to favor one side of the body and the brain over another. We have a dominant side. And what we're doing here is we're creating more of a democratic condition there in the body mind by engaging both sides. Right hand up, left hand down. Feel that those poles in opposition. Feel as they approach each other. Hold there for a moment. Feel the energy, the potential energy that's being generated in the system. And continue, reach up with the right, down with the left. Reach down 
the right hand in front of you, left hand reaches out in front of you. So both hands are extending out from the shoulders. Elbows are relaxed, shoulders are relaxed, open, You're reaching with the elbows, the wrists, the fingers. Now pull back with your right hand and reach forward with your left. Feel those pulls in opposition. Reaching back with the right elbow. Reach forward with the left wrist. Pull back with the left. Reach back with the left elbow. Reach forward with the right wrist. And hold that and just feel those poles in opposition. Feel that splitting energy as you pull back with your left, reach forward with your right. And then reach forward with your left and keep your right out and hold that. Press down. Now, without moving, just feel the potentiality of all those movements. Feel them contained within your being as potentialities, recreatable potentialities of energy. Each time you do that, you create more of a memory of a jinn. We're playing with very simple jinns here, but it, uh, very powerful and profound in their own way. I'm holding space for them allows you to create more access to that when needed. And step in. Feel what happens when you step in. Feel the difference in the energy when you do that. Feel yourself, feel all that yang chi just kind of settling down and going someplace. Dissolving. It's still existing there as a recreatable potential. Take a deep breath. And disappear the chi. Let it go even more. You don't have to hang on to it because the potentiality exists within you. It's a recreatable potential. Feel into the emptiness. Please have a seat.
How'd that go? I need words, people. <laughs> Very cool. Val Valerina. <laughs> In that potentiality, there was a lot of dancing going on with the arms going in. <laughs> As appropriate for Valerina, right? Right, absolutely. That, that, I took a lot of self-control not to just <laughs> forget it. <laughs> Lynn. Um. I, on the other hand, was just absolutely deeply rooted into the earth, like I was a tree, you know. Um, but, you know, we do this poles in opposition thing when we're doing, you know, the claiming less territory and, and you, I always feel it, you know, at the ends, right? Thinking about when you get to the poles in opposition at the ends, but it's all the way along. It's like they're constantly in opposition. And this really made that very alive and obvious to me and will change the way I practice that, you know, uh, a lot. Nice, nice, thank you, good. Valerina. Something that Maria said during her 21 day challenge, um, or I actually don't know if she said it verbally, but it was in one of the written instructions about poles in opposition. And I mean, it's so simple and so obvious, but it really struck a deep chord with me is that when we're talking about, you know, poles in opposition, we're talking about in space. We're not talking about conflict. I mean, I never did think it was conflict, but uh, if you will let that Maria person know that that was brilliant. Um, you know, stating that, that, you know, in space, not conflict, because opposition, you know, can be a loaded word in some ways. So I really appreciated that. And it allows me to even more fully engage in that, that act, the poles and opposition. Beautiful. So just had to say that. That Maria person is smiling <laughs> as you said that. <laughs> And, 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 and waving. <laughs> <laughs> Scott. Um, yeah, definitely, um, definitely felt, feel bigger. Definitely, mm. feel, definitely got bigger. And there was, um, there was so many things, so many different things going on, you know, energetically in the body and everything else. It was really very, very cool. Beautiful, good. Good. Jonathan. So with, with the belt and thing, and we're pulling with our gin energy, and we are, you know, pulling, having separating energy definitely going on there. This is going this way. This is going this way. But once you go to the chi, it's like you're being bounced away. You know, it, it's like the chi itself is creating the separation. So how do they talk about that? I mean, it, it, it seems a little, I guess it's rending in a way, but it's really assisted rending. Right, since <laughs> opposing magnet energy that's bouncing you somewhat. Well, how I would talk about it, I don't know how they talk about it, but I, I would talk about it that that your if you can overcome that feeling of being bounced and control it and say, No, I'm going to I'm gonna grab on to something here and I'm going to I'm going to participate in this. So in other words, yeah, I'm not just the I'm not just the effect of the bounce. I'm an active participant in it. I believe that it will magnify the effect many times over. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I get that. I mean, you can feel like yourself. Each little bounce can be almost like you're bouncing off the track of it. Like you're feeling a, you know what I mean, like a way. I think if, if I'm reading you right, it's stay with the field at all times, right? Because you can. I think what, what, what I'm what I'm trying to say uh, is that it's both. It's both this sense of expansion and contraction mm. simultaneously, mm. and that 
So the, the, there is a hmm. pull there uh, that, uh, that you're fighting against. And there's also a push that is saying, get out of here. And both of those are occurring simultaneously. Hmm. And if, if you can occupy the neutral pole, because one hmm. is yin, the contraction is yin, the expansion is yang. If you can occupy the neutral pole, the zero pole, and feel both, then you're able to access what Master Young calls the, the mystery, you know, and, and I, I agree with that. You're able to, to, to not be the energy and not be the effect of the energy, but to be the, the governor and the creator of the energy. And that, that's, yeah, that, I mean, that's an animal. If I'm pushing in against this force, I'm absolutely in that sense, but you know, I'm not just bouncing, but I'm like, I'm actually fashioning something and it gets denser and denser. I mean, at points it can feel like a lead bar between my hands right. because you know, the energy going out and my, you know, conscious, whatever gin energy going in. So maybe that's something to really play with. It's certainly not rending. It's, it's almost the opposite, right? It's, it's like, coagulating formation or something right right, right? That's, that's that's more of a yin thing which is condensing so condensing, simultaneously yeah. if we can have a yang expansion as well as a yin condensing then we we're, we've moved into a whole different realm of chi production at that point mm. a, a, a different realm of jin we're not just going with the flow then we are we have a godlike power to actually create something out of nothing at that point. And that's, that's, that's where the fun is from mm. my, from my perspective. Is being probably able some to healing there too. I, I can't imagine that that energy that feels so dense probably has some property there, right? Possible healing property. It's it, 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 put it, it between it or something. It, it, it's both healing and and destructive at the same time ah. <laughs> depending on depending on your intention you can use right, it to okay. smash or you can use it to 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 bring together <laughs> it, uh, it, it it it's a neutral neutral thing in and of itself it's chi and so oh what we're gonna make a neutron bomb out of this are we going to you know we're gonna light up the world and, and a, a million candles you know, it's 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 definitely we have a choice you know what what direction we want to put that scott oh yeah i was just going to say that i mean i wasn't consciously thinking about it but now thinking back on it when i achieved that pushing and pulling you know yin and yang at the same time that's when things got really weird in my body and there was all sorts of things a lot of different things going on at once and it was but, fun. yeah and, and and we we are moving into terra incognita at that point. It's like, uh -huh. whoa! You you have to surrender to the what else is possible whenever one goes into that place because we are creating something bigger than our what we consider ourselves to be. I know for me, just doing that exercise with you guys, I've never felt it like that. You know, mm -hmm. It was like really profound that the, this connection that we had here across thousands of miles you know was able to like oh my god that's that's more than i have been able to do on my own so that i thought that was pretty cool you know that was like all right we got there, there's something happening here there's something really alive going on here so let's ride this baby lynn you had something i just wanted to ask you to repeat if you can uh, what you were saying earlier about, you know, you don't want to be affected by the chi, right? You don't want to just go with the flow, but you want to, um, what, what came after that, you know, sort of create it. Let, let me clarify that you do, but you don't want to just do that. So okay. in other words, you want to be, it's like in, in, in the, um, you know, in, in the classics, they talk about, you know, to lead is to follow, you know, and, and that's exactly what we're, what we're talking about here. It's like, you know, I'm, I got, I'm, I'm, 
I, I'm holding on to the tail of the dragon here as, as, and, and like, oh my God, what's going on? But at the same time, I'm kind of steering the dragon as I'm doing it. And so they, that's, that's the game we're playing here is, is that we are, when we tap into the big chi, and to the extent that we're able to tolerate the big chi, we are involved in something much bigger than we are personally. You know, the but at the same time, if we are participants in that event, then we have a say in which where the dragon's going. Right. So that's uh, so that, that I think that's that's where the fun is in this and the opportunity. And the more you do it, you know, it's like you know, learning to ride the dragon. It's like <laughs> you get you get <laughs> and uh, it's, it's so like, cool. oh boy, you know, <laughs> but you know. Always be aware that that's a, it's a dragon you're riding here. It's it can eat you, <laughs> burn you up, whatever. But it's a, <laughs> but at the same time you can you can do cool stuff if you pay attention to the parameters of <laughs> of the event that you're involved in, and then you get to play. Cool, I love that. Okay, <laughs> Scott. Well, Valerie, Valerie said conscious intention, and I thought about it. And it's almost like conscious nudging, right? It's like you're feeling that and then you're nudging it sort of the way you want to go. So it's it's like you said, it's the both, but it's kind of nudging the dragon and not not mastering the dragon. I, I think I think you're right there. It's just a you it but it's very much like push hands, where it's like you you're participating in this event where you're taking what your partner is giving you and you're saying yes and to that. You're you're receiving that energy that your partner is giving you, and you're saying, "Oh, okay." And with that energy, you know, I'll see your your push, and I'll raise you a rollback. You know, it's a it. Uh, then you get to you engage in this game that that where the energy is is playing. You find what is the appropriate energy in this moment for this situation, and then you get to uh, uh, cool stuff happens. Right. That's yeah. I mean, that's what I'm kind of saying is like if, if somebody, you know, gives you a push and you try and do something that's not appropriate, then you're fighting against it. Right. You, so right. that's where that's where the dance comes in. Right. Right. Cool. Cool. Uh, did you have some, Jonathan? No, no. I'm just feeding my cat. <laughs> um, cool. So. Uh, so we we're talking about Jijin, that's that splitting energy. So we're taking who's taking the chi and we're saying, ah, oh, what do I want to do with that? Oh, I want one thing to go this way, the other thing to go that way, and create this effect with that when I do that. And it's one thing in terms of martial application, which is really cool. And I, I you know, had an opportunity many times to to do that and push hands where you just go like that and you send someone sailing, you know, and that's, that's a lot of fun. Uh, but to do that, you need to really feel the connection throughout the whole system. If I try to try to do like a, 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 a diagonal flying, but I'm only using the muscular tension of my right arm as I do that, it's not going to work very well. And I'm probably going to rip up my, my shoulder in the process. But if I engage that, then it's quite irresistible. But that's in the, uh, that's in a martial or a push hands context. But whenever we just do that for its own sake, and just to feel into that and feel the body doing something it doesn't ordinarily do particularly at that level of conscious participation. Whenever you're reaching out like that and you're just, you're tuning into an energy flow that is, it's excited to be born. That energy is excited to be born. It does, it was lying there kind of in utero forever. And then now it's like, Oh, this is my moment. And it's 
it's really happy to come out and play with you. And so you get the, oh boy, oh boy. And it, it just fills you up whenever you, whenever you get to play like that. So any chance you get, you know, to just, just take, take 15 seconds and just, oh, ah, do it for three breaths, you know, whatever. Just, just feel that and then mm, turn it around and go the other way and feel, oh, that's a different energy when I go this way. And so you can, can work that into your daily routine. Not, you know, I wouldn't even, wouldn't even say routine, just something you do, something you, some yeah. fun thing that gets, that gets you to become more and more familiar with riding that dragon so that it's not a, uh, it's not a shock to the system whenever you do, whenever you suddenly have all this energy available to you. It's like, ah, what do I do with it? It's like, oh no, I know how to, I know how to do this. I can ride this. Okay. Okay. Uh, anything more on this one? Nick. So, Nick. So, so, <laughs> yeah. so it seemed to try to try and you know get away from metaphorical stuff a little bit. Um, it, it seems as though what we're talking about is a balance between compliments, right? So it's not just the notion or the idea of of split or you know pulling or versus compressing or you know rending versus you know assembling. It's the that whenever you manage to find that point where you are balanced, you have found the balance between complements. It provides you with an opportunity to deal to determine to nudge, to squeeze, th to squidgle things in the way you would prefer them to go in any kind of situation. That's an interesting, uh, interesting idea. And the only question I would have on that is, is in the use of the term balance. Well, balance is a relative term in itself, right? <laughs> By slightly a we're not necessarily talking about equanimity. equanimity, right? Yeah, not necessarily equality or equal amounts of whatever it is. Equilibrium. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. we're talking about equal, not talking necessarily about equilibrium. I don't okay, think we're talking because, about that because that's a, it's an important important word and one one that I, I appreciate. You know what what you're saying here. I just want to know if if balance is the word we want to use. Yeah to describe what it is you're talking about. Well, I would, another way to put it would be a state of harmony between them, dynamic, mm. uh, a dynamic harmony between between the complements. Okay, that's good. Harmony is good. That's good. And particularly if, you know, if you take harmony to its deeper level, yeah, which right. is that we're talking about the way that different tones relate to each other within a structure, mm -hmm. you know, that sure, that, 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 that's, that's definitely there. Harmony is not necessary. Harmony in another sense is, is always good and, and, and beautiful and, and wonderful, but in its most stripped down version, it can also be uh, not, Unsettled. it can be discordant. Discordant. Yeah. Discordant. So, you know, the harmony is just the way the notes are relating to each other within, you know, within a given set. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm wrestling with the language on this. I'm glad you brought it up because balance to me indicates a certain equilibrium, a certain stasis that I'm trying to avoid with this. Because mm -hmm. if we focus on the balance, then we're focusing on the equilibrium. And as things approach equilibrium, they move toward death. Yes. <laughs> so that's it. So what we're talking about is a far from equilibrium system. We're trying to generate a far from equilibrium system, which then means it is, that's right, it spirals upward 
as we do that because we're where consciousness is feeding the system, adding more logs on the fire and creating more, 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 up, 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 rather than just saying, ah, peace, uh, we're going into this quiescence. And that that's not what this is about. There are other things you can do which move in that direction, moved in the direction of peace, but this is like, no, we want to, we want to do a disturbance of the peace here. We want, the, your your being is 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 at peace, but the energy is is excited and excitable, is the way the classics talk about it. Jonathan, well, I, you know, every time over the years when we when we push with you and that we call them the pythons of love, but it it's almost it's like my wisteria bush, you know, that vine and and that energy is going this way that's doing all the destruction, but it's matched by that root energy that's going the other way. And it's almost like, it's not so much balance, but there's, you're sourcing, you're finding a source for this. You're not, when you say, yeah, yeah, but you stick your arm out, you're not gonna do anything, but that's not connected to anything. But this is more than just saying the Dantian or something. It's like this opposing force or a real, all I can keep, I keep thinking of vines with this. There's no, no, a that's organic. a beautiful analogy. The wisteria vine is a beautiful analogy because what's a wisteria vine? constantly doing it's constantly reaching reaching yeah. it's, it's, it's destroying it's, my house but i love it so much i can't do <laughs> <laughs> it's it's reaching at the same right. time it's also it's also clinging it's also contracting so it's a that's actually a beautiful image for that because it's doing both it's it's trying to to <laughs> crush your right. house at <laughs> but it's right. also i want more it's saying, I want more, 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 more. Give me more. And so that, uh, so we have the, these, this dynamic interplay of polar opposites that creates that excited and excitable energy that we want in this. We want to like, mm, arr, I want to crank that baby up so that you're really just feeling, feeling the vitality that uh, comes with that. And uh, yeah, Valerie, ballerina. <laughs> if you haven't written somewhere, excited to be born, that's what that's happening. You need to put that down because that <laughs> that was great. That yeah, just really, sad. That really, really good. Thank, Thank you. you. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Excited to be born. Yeah, that, that that's the way it feels. It's like, oh boy, it's been lying there in potentia you know, forever. And now it says, yes, my moment, my moment to shine. Oh boy. You know, <laughs> ta-da. You know, <laughs> I am here. Jijin. <laughs> yeah, I think that term really works because it has that, it didn't, you're making it, you're making it happen. As in right. it, you know, you're giving birth to it, but it, has been there waiting, right? So I got that two sort of sides of it being Absolutely. there, and you doing it. I like that. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. but yeah. And, and and giving birth is a, is, a, is a good analogy for that too, is because it's like you know, it's both a, an active and a passive event. Right. You right. know, so you're uh, you have to be you're a participant in something bigger than you, but at the same time, it ain't happening without you. So <laughs> <laughs> you 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 definitely need to participate in this thing. And so that's the that is the alchemy of this crazy thing that we that we're doing here. That that eternal paradox of but I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> that sense of of like, oh I, I'm I'm being you know, I'm just a, a, a an expression of the divine will. And it's me. It's not happening without me. <laughs> and both are true. Both are <laughs> both are absolutely essential to the process. Because if if Leonardo doesn't take the divine will and you know do the work and actually put it down, you know, we don't get it. We don't get the creation. You know, it's something, you know, it's something that it's it is a a collaborative event that that we we create so in our own little little way 
you know, we, we, we hold these poles in oppositions and we are creating universes in these tiny little, little events that we're doing and, and we can let them go and create them again and let them go and create them again. And, and each time we get more familiar, we get more familiar with the process and comfortable with the process of creativity. Then it's like, okay, then we can expand that into other things. Yep. It's so exciting. <laughs> it's so much power and so much joy and, you know. <laughs> exactly. So cool. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> we have to go create some universes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and without the energy, without the chi, you got nothing to run the nothing to run the show. You need something to run the run the motor, you know. And and so here we are. We're mm, 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 we're cranking them up, cranking it up, you know. And <laughs> and, and the more vitality that we can pump through the system, and the more vitality we can steal from the big chi the longer we can play the game at a high level and keep expanding our participation in the game. So we keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. You know, long past the point where, you know, we should have quit. <laughs> we say, keep, keep going, okay, you know, yeah, yeah why, why not, you know? And so that getting that, um, what do they call it, the, uh, spirit of vitality the jing shen you know it's what ties the the whole system together we need it at that body level to be able to keep the mind and spirit going and so that that's a whole you know, integration of those three is essential to what we're doing here and it goes back to that thing that you know i said about the the young faith first you got to feel consciously feel and do then understand energy, and then from that spiritual illumination comes. And, and to me, that's a process that is not, it's not like an end goal. It's like, oh, if I do this for a long time, I will get to spiritual illumination. No, it's happening now. Every time we do that, we, we get a hit. We get, we get the, next, the next bit of information, the next bit of, of enlightenment, you know, the the, the light goes on every time we feel that joy we the light goes on and it illuminates and we we get to go for it we get to the next level and the next level and the next level it's never like oh i got i'm here i've got there you know no it's it's, it's more 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 it's like what's next what else is possible Great. This has been wonderful. Thank you all for participating in this. And uh, uh, that was absolutely delightful. So thank you, Maria. Thanks, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank you for the joy.